Hey everyone, thanks so much for joining me, Stitching with Sue here. So I am on a mission. Um, welcome, first off. Uh, those of you that are returning, I so appreciate you coming back. And those that are new subscribers, welcome. I hope you enjoy this. So this is a machine embroidery project. And um, I am on a mission to help out those of you that have four by four hoop sizes. So this is gonna be one in a series of four by four projects that can be done. Um, so if you're new to machine embroidery, you might be going, what is she talking about? I'm talking about the hoop size. And you know what? Sometimes size does matter. Pardon that pun. But um, I am going to show you a quick project. Isn't this cute? I'm thinking it's showing up. Let me see if you could see it. I can't see because I can't see what you're seeing. Does that make sense? Um, this is a cute little project that can be done in your 4x4 four four hoop. Now, it comes in other sizes. So, you know, if you're fortunate enough to have a larger size hoop, then you can make them bigger. And you may be wondering, well, what is that little thing? Well, this is a little cat toy. Okay? It's a cat toy. And um, this fabric I'm using was actually something I picked up in um, Rite Aid, I believe, a few years ago. And um, it's just like uh, cleaning towels. So it came with pink and it came with blue. So I found this design on Etsy. I just was doing a search for cat toy. I have a dog one too, so I'm gonna be doing a dog one. And um, I thought this is super cute because you know, if it's a cat, you don't want it super huge, although, you know, bigger is better with cat toys too I suppose but I wanted to introduce you to some fun projects you can make in your 4x4 hoop so if you only have a smaller machine and it only has a small hoop there are still tons and tons of things you can create in your little hoop so this is a little cat toy now um, inside the cat toy I um, I put some fiber fill and um, I had gotten this because my cat loves this. It's called Cat Crack and um, it's catnip. It may look like something else, but it's catnip. So I put a little bit of fiber fill, a little bit of the Cat Crack, a little bit of fiber fill, and then a little bit of Cat Crack. And then the bottom of this is just stitched up. So the other day I did an unboxing and I it was for, um, products that were sent to me to evaluate and then they asked me to do a project so my first thought was oh this would be cute if I do this little cat fabric but then I realized you're probably not going to see all of this stitching and everything which is really what makes it and if you're wondering what this is if you go to the dollar store well a dollar and a quarter store and you get this this uh cotton mop head you can just cut off a piece of this tie a knot and um, you can put it on the end now this design calls for uh, ribbons to be put there but I thought well this is more cute that likes you know cat has to have a tail so um, back to this um, so this is part of the tons of fabric that they sent me and just a small little scrap so I thought you know what I'll put this on the back so I'm gonna use a small bit of what was sent to me and this was sent to me by BB craft and I will put all the information down below of all of the products that they sent me along with a coupon code that if you're interested in ordering any product check out their website they have tons of stuff and even though it comes from across the pond the shipping was rather quick so I'm gonna use that as my backing because I just thought that those little kitties are just super cute so um, okay let's get started um, here was another one that I did. This was a, um, I had done a video on this one once before. Can you see that one? And this one was from Creative Fabrica. But I thought, you know, that these little other ones are much quicker. And I'm making these for a craft show. So if you're wondering, I'm making them for a craft show. Because I figure um, it's only 3,087 stitches. And it only takes seven minutes to make. 
So I can make a whole bunch of these, throw them in a basket because you know what? People come to craft shows. Well, let's get started with this one and then we can, we'll have a chat. All right. So I have tearaway stabilizer and I've had this in my stash back when I only had a four by four hoop. And then I have that toweling. And then I put a piece of water soluble stabilizer on here because I don't want the stitches getting lost down in the fabric. And I hoop this because it's like 90 degrees here today. We'll get started. It's like 90 degrees here today. And um, I have my AC, one of those split system units in my bedroom. And I um, have it going in my bedroom with the ceiling fan. And this plastic is so flimsy that the last project I had put tape all around it because it kept wanting to um, blow into the stitching. And I didn't want to have that. I hope you can see this because I know that keeps popping up with the ceiling fan is blowing it but first off what it's going to do now it doesn't do any um stitch out as far as where the placement is so I learned that the hard way um so you have to just you know I I did the last one in a five by seven hoop and then I realized I'm wasting because this design is small enough for a four by four hoop and I thought well there we go we can get the um, creation of the fabric from BB Craft, which thank you very much. Um, we can work on our four by four hoop series projects and um, we can make something fun for our little fur babies. And I, I'm gonna make one for my kitty cat and I think I'm gonna use the fabric. Now you can't just use the outline of a cat. I may do that. Just use the outline of the cat and don't do all these special features on it. But these special features are what makes this so fun. So I will put the link from um, Etsy where I got this design. And uh, maybe you'd be interested in making a few of them yourself. But I just think that they are so cute. They bring a smile to my face. And you probably could make this as a pain cushion too. Um, nobody's saying you can't. If you're going to use a pink cushion, I, um, rather than polyfill, I would put in um, a wall, they're called walnut shells, and they're all crushed up, and you can usually get them in the pet store or in the pet section, because they're used for bedding for, I don't know, some sort of animal. <laughs> I don't know, some sort of animal that I don't really want to have in my house, but hey, if you're into that, no worries. So um, you can find it on Amazon as well. I think it's for reptiles or something. And they're called walnut shells. And if you put those in a pin cushion, every time you insert your pins in and out, it also sharpens your pins. But you certainly can use fiber fill as well. And I don't have a whole lot of it. And um, I was gonna, I was heading to Joanne's this morning because I have a coupon. Wanted to get more fabric to make these, but well, I had to take something back from Amazon. Um, I had picked up a four by four um, embroidery machine and I just had issues with it. It wouldn't thread, it, it, was, it, it was taking too long. So I ended up taking it back. So you may have seen that on my Facebook page that I was gonna use that to focus on four by four hoops. And then I thought, well, you know what? That's just silly. Just use my regular machine my um, brother Essence and just use the 4x4 four four hoop. So I got a 4x4 four four hoop and so anyhow, I was going to the UPS store to take back the sewing, the embroidery machine and I, you know, hauled it out, hauled it there, come to the door and it says due to all the Amazon returns, they were closed because they were inundated with returns. Now I know my area used to be able to go back to Kohl's with it, but that wasn't an option. So I don't know if maybe Kohl's doesn't do it anymore. So then I went back to the car and I got on the phone to another UPS store and they were open. And that was clear, clear, far away from where Joann's was gonna be. So I never got to Joann's. So um, I did end up going to a dollar store in where that town was, where that UPS store was located. and. Uh, well, the rest is history so here we are and I'm just using up what I already have but I was planning on going to Joann's to pick up some scrap pieces of uh, fleece and soft fabric like like this kind of fabric but um, got me thinking I have that fabric from uh, BB craft and why not use that 
so um, I'm going to be making some fun things out of that and uh, I hope you come along for the ride so um, more news to share with you so if you're following me you would have known that today is Saturday uh, June 25th 2022 it's also um, my daughter and son-in-law's first wedding um, anniversary so if you're watching guys happy anniversary and uh, so there's the bottom of it all right next i'm going to do some eyes and i'm going to stick with um the colors they suggested blue so i think the last one look cute with blue eyes so it's their first wedding anniversary and today we were i was supposed to be traveling um down their way they're about an hour away from me and um they were having um she was supposed to have gotten back the results because um, she's pregnant whether or not she was having a girl or a boy oops i keep hitting you guys i'm sorry but um she calls me yesterday and she says you're never gonna guess what and um she had got a notification from the doctor that she has to go and have her blood work done again and i was like what and she goes yeah she said all I ever got, and now it takes about two weeks, so it's actually genetic testing that they do. Um, she, uh, I just dropped my thread, hold on. She, she had the blood work done like two weeks ago, and they told her, you know, within seven days or so, she'd have the results. She had gotten notification that they received the blood work, and she never got anything else. And so yesterday they contacted her and said, yeah, she has to go and have it done over again. So it was already too late in the day for her to go yesterday because they closed at 3.30. So she has to wait till Monday and um, go have the blood work done all over again. So I'm just hoping it's a fluke thing and it's nothing major. Um, that's my thinking. That's my positive energy going that way. So we did not have the reveal. So it's sad. You know, because we're all so excited about, you know, finding out if it's a girl or a boy. And, yeah, that didn't happen. So, sad, insert sad face because um, I was going to make an apple pie last night and um, go see the my grandchildren. And we were going to have a cookout. And she had some sort of festivities that somebody, somebody else was going to have the information. So they weren't even going to know. I guess it's a thing now. They call it like a baby reveal. They have some kind of reveal thing. So, so they were doing things with squirt guns and whatever the color of the squirt gun that came out. It's going to be, you know, what it was and yada yada. But let me grab a drink because my throat is very dry. So yeah, that didn't happen. So yes. So here I am. I did some errands early this morning because I know they were calling for record temperatures today. I even saw on Facebook where a local um, nursery was closing early due to the heat. So it's, it's really hot out there, but I've been in my house. I did my laundry early this morning. Did my running around while it was still nice out. And now I'm in for the duration, but so be it. Um, so we'll have to have do that on another time. So um, anyone that was wondering, that's the scoop. All right. So now what it calls for the next step is like a stitch going here, 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 here. Because you're supposed to put pieces of ribbon, like two here and two here. But because I'm doing... Um, a tail with a piece of rope so I'm gonna take the rope and I'm gonna put a knot in the end so that'll be the end of it and then I'm just gonna cut off what I think is a, a nice amount let me just measure I have a measure ruler here it's about um, five inches tied okay so now this I'm gonna put this around here down near the bottom and um, I want this to go toward the outside, so this will be on the inside. And let me grab my tape. Oh, and I did take um, someone's suggestion when I was doing a project and I was using the Kimberbell tape. They suggested the paper tape at Dollar Store. So I did pick this up today. So I'm not gonna need to use it on this one, but if you need to tape something down, someone said that this works wonders. So 
well it's not dollar store anymore it's a dollar and a quarter store so I did um, pick that up so thank you for that suggestion I appreciate that all right so now I don't need to do this whole stitch around so I'm gonna add 100 stitches and that will take me to there and I'm gonna add 10 20 30 okay so 30 stitches so I only want the part that's going to attach the tail really because I'm not doing that whole ribbon thing so this is just going to attach the tail now you could just go ahead and put your fabric on top but um I decided just to do that that works for me okay I'm going to leave the same pink thread in because the next part is to use the fabric and make sure my kitties are gonna be right side up. Let me slide this out a little bit so I can see. Now you wanna make sure your tail is gonna be stuck inside. So just because, I'm just gonna use a little bit of scotch tape just to make sure I hold it there. And this is just going to go over the top. I just cut a piece about the same size. I'm gonna put this in the hoop and then I can readjust. Okay, so that looks good. So now the last step is going to be the stitch all around. Alrighty. So it leaves the bottom opening so you can trim it and turn it and then stuff it. That's, that's all you need to do. So this is the fabric from BB Craft. And I know you're kind of thinking, well, that's not much use of the fabric. Well, I, I think it is. I mean, I think it also helped with, um, you know, the kitties playing with it because the um, it's cotton fabric and the scent of the uh, catnip will come through. You see the ceiling fan is moving my, my um, camera holder, so I hope you guys are okay with that. I'm not making you dizzy. All right, and that's it. That is it. That is all. Okay, so there we go. Finish sewing, I click the okay. Now what I can do, um, because I have larger hoops, I can go ahead and um, put in a, a large hoop and add multiple designs and stitch a couple of them in one big large hoop. So that's a possibility. So now all you're gonna do is you're gonna cut around. So let me get my scissors. Just gonna cut around Now you can um, go ahead and tear off the paper, but I like to leave, um, I have a tear away um, stabilizer. I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Just my regular 7511 uh, needle. You can go ahead and tear that off, but I like to leave it. Let me cut all this off. So let me show you where I'm at so far. I like to leave it because it helps give a little stability when you're cutting. So now I'm just gonna cut up a little bit on the bottom. Now when you come to the opening, I kind of leave a little bit more here so you have enough that you can tuck in. Okay. And another viewer suggested, which I really love when you guys suggest things, um, where these little corners and things are, just take little snips. And um, she had stated that that helps. Just don't, you know, s snip your stitch. Help when you're doing the turning. But I didn't find any problem with this turning. All right, so now you can go, and here's the back, you can go and tear away the stabilizer. I mean, I'm not going to be too fussy fussy because it's going to be a cat toy, you know. Not that their kitties don't deserve the very best, but, you know, you can take the time and tear all of that away. It comes off real easy, just like that, in little pieces. All right, I'm gonna leave the rest of that. So then all you have to do is turn it right side out. So we'll have that cute fabric on the back. We have our tape on our tails, so let's take that off. And like I said, I put a little knot in the end. And just use your finger. Now I have my little purple thing. Unfortunately, the little end on there cracked off. So, I just have to deal with it. Um, I was using it for something I probably should not, <clears throat> excuse me, have used it for. 
So I'm just going to use, I'm still going to use that in to help turn this. And then I'm going to tear off that uh, water soluble stabilizer. Or, you know, you can go ahead and spritz it with water. But then you got to wait for that to dry. And I can be impatient when it comes to that kind of stuff. Now you can use this this fabric and if you have another design where it's an outline I mean this would be really cute just with the outline of the cat and not do all this excess uh, stitching but I really think the excess stitching is what makes that this cute little kitty cat. All right, I have a piece of tape left there on the edge so you're just going to go ahead you can pretty much pull all this stabilizer or like I said, if you just spritz it with water, it will just dissolve, but it pretty much comes off, you know, pretty well, you can see. I like that. Now I have it all stuck on my fingers because I have a piece of tape stuck there. <laughs> There's a little bit more left in here. You can use the end of your purple thing to kind of pull that, get it started. You know what else would be this would be fun to use um, if you have any towels you know maybe towels that have pretty much seen their day and you wanted to make your kitty cat some toys you know you could always use that so then this will get tucked inside you'll use your fiber fill to stuff it and then add some catnip I use the cat crack like I had stated and uh, here's the back with the cute little kitty faces on there so I think it's super cute and I'm real excited to make up a whole bunch of them. I'm going to go through all my scrap fabric and um, anything that's nice and soft like fleece or um, toweling like this, you know, and uh, different kind of scraps and things. I think that they would be so fun, even if you put them all in a little basket. I mean, if you know you have a cat friend, you could even put a little bit of a weight in the bottom and you could have it where it's like standing up and there's a lot of things you can do with this, but I just think it's super cute. Let me pull the one that um, I already finished. So there it is. This one has black stripes, and I thought I'd do this one with yellow stripes, just for something different. And this one just has that fabric on the back, the same as the front. And then this one, I think this is super cute with this little bit of different fabric on the back. And I may just stitch up a few of them just using the outline of the cat because I think that would be cute too. I think you could kind of tell um, with the outline that it's a kitty. This would be what it would look like. So I think I'm going to use some of that fabric and do some of those and have them all in a little basket and I don't know, just charge a couple dollars for them because it really didn't take hardly any time to do. So um, I hope you enjoyed this. If you do, be sure to subscribe, click, click on the little notification bell. Once you ring that bell, you'll be notified when I upload new videos. I hope you're all doing well and have a wonderful rest of your day. Please be safe. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below. Let me think, let me know if you, what you think about this project. And of course, always like, comment, subscribe. And till next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and happy stitching. We'll see you later. Bye for now.